MailChimp bulk email sender. How to send bulk emails with MailChimp. Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can use MailChimp to send emails in bulk. So let's get into it. Now, the first thing you're going to do is click on sign up over here. And once you sign up on MailChimp with your email and your first and last name, this is going to be your basic dashboard. Now, on your dashboard to get started to sending your own emails in bulk, you're going to go on to the audience section first. And that's the most important thing you need to do to start sending emails in bulk. So on your left, you have your create section then you have your audience section you have campaign sections you have your automation you have website you have content studios integrations and your search bar and down below you have your personal account information now you're going to click on audience over here and you're going to click on all contacts and what you're going to do is you're going to click on add contacts over here and you can add different subscribers or you can import contacts if you have a list already. So if you have a CSV or a tab delimited TXT file, you can do that as well. Or you can copy and paste from a spreadsheet. Now that is up to you if you already have your own audience built and you have that email list. But if you don't, then you're going to go into your all contact section and you're just going to add individual subscribers. So I have added myself as a subscriber a couple of times and how do you actually get to sending your emails in bulk? Well, you're going to select like this. It's pretty simple. So you can just select like this all of your emails and you can click on actions and you can unsubscribe them, resubscribe them or archive your little um, contacts. And depending on the active contacts that you have, you might want to do that as well. Now, if you want to send an email to, let's say I want to send an email to all three of my contacts that those are the only ones that I have added. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go into my campaign section. I'm going to click on all campaigns and I already have these campaigns built. So what I can do is I can click on this draft and what I can do is I, I've already sent these. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on create over here. I'm going to create a regular email. So I'm just going to click on email. I'm going to click on regular email. I'm going to name it. Um, let's name it. Thank you email. Let's say I want to send this email in bulk. I just want a thank you email and I'm going to click on begin. So this is going to be the thank you campaign name. And once this campaign is started, what I'm going to do is I'm going to develop the email that I want to send to all of my customers. So what you're going to do is once you add your um once you add your campaign name, what you're going to do is you're going to add your two sections. So you can click on edit recipients here. And this is the entire crux of this video is what is your audience and what are these tags that you might want to filter out? So let's say I have the Jane Doe Inc. audience that I've added these three subscribers in, or I can personalize the two fields. So I can do the first name or the last name or the first name and last name both, or I can do custom names for each of my tags as well. But I want to do a first name for each one of the emails so every time this email is going to be sent it's actually going to customize the first name when it says it's going to be too pink or too black or anything like that whatever the people's names are whose emails you have added and then you can add one group or segment or you can choose if you want to send this email to all of your subscribers in your certain audience or if you have new subscribers active subscribers inactive subscribers you can add those tags as well so i just want to send this to all of my subscribers i'm just going to click on save after that you're going to add your forms first off you're going to add who this uh, campaign is being sent from so i'm just going to add myself and after that you're going to add your subject the subject line is going to appear in the email that when they open up their inbox so you want to make sure that your subject line is pretty attractive something along the lines of i would usually add thank you for joining our mailing list like this here's a 10 percent discount the reason that I add this in the preview text is that people are going to focus more and they're going to be more interested in knowing what's inside and instead of it just being in the subject and being thrown right at them. So I'm just going to save that over here and then I'm going to add the content. So I'm just going to click on design email and I'm just going to select the classic email builder and I'm just going to open up any basic template and I'm just going to use the template as the email. So I'm just going to use the automation sample template. I'm going to open that up and I'm going to use that to just send and I'm going to continue over here. I already have a detailed video on how you can design your emails on MailChimp. So if you don't know how to do that yet, make sure to watch that video and see how you can actually design those uh, all of your emails. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to edit the email 
into a different one. Now I have just added the content email, so the email that I want. And after that, you can link your campaign. You can add a social post to your campaign as well. And then you're just going to click on schedule or send depending on what kind of campaign this is. So I'm just going to click on send over here. And this is going to be sent to all three of my subscribers. Or I can just click on schedule over here and schedule a time for the optimized delivery. But I'm just going to click on send and I've just clicked on send now. And now my email has been sent in bulk to uh, all three of my newsletter subscribers. So this is how easy it is to send emails in bulk. And you don't only have to send to your entire audience. You can section them out. You can make different fields and subfields within your audience. And you're going to be able to send emails in bulk to those audiences as well. And this is going to help you keep track of your uh, different niches and markets that you have for your business. Now, if you actually go onto your audience section, you even have an analytics box where you can see your growth and you can see how many people are subscribed and not subscribed to your email and see the engagement of your email so you can see that if you get a rare, rare engagement if your engagement engagement is sometimes if you have other engagement then you have overall top locations where people are opening up your emails and where people are not opening up your emails so this is how you send emails in bulk but there are some features that you need to know about mailchimp that are highly highly useful if you're looking to start your email marketing journey so on your free version of mailchimp not only can you send your emails on in bulk but you also have a website builder a mailchimp domain you have a creative assistant and a marketing crm and you can also make your own forms and landing pages and these are some of the great features that i find really useful about mailchimp so not only can you send your emails in bulk but you can create your own website and landing pages using MailChimp as well. And if you upgrade to their essential version, which starts at $10, you can get email and landing page templates. You have customer journey builders. You have custom branding, A-B testing, and 24-7 support. And on their standard version, which starts at $15, you have branching points and time optimization. So you can choose a specific time to send your emails. And this is very useful, especially if you're doing bulk emails, to have a targeted time to make sure that your audience is able to receive those emails at a time where they're going to be able to open them up as well. So this is why I suggest that if you ever are upgrading from the free version, make sure to upgrade to the standard version. We are about to end this video and to end it on a good note, I would like to request you guys that if you found this video helpful or if you found this method exactly what you wanted or what you were looking for, consider subscribing to our YouTube channel and sharing it with your friends and family who might learn a thing or two from this video or learn a thing or two from the hundreds of videos that we have on our channel and of course if you have any questions any queries about anything in this video or with related to our entire channel or any of our videos make sure to leave a comment down below and ask us what you want from our videos i tried to cover everything i could in this video but if you want to see more details of the methods or the ways in this video just let me know in the comments down below and i'll be sure to make more videos on your suggestions at the end of the day it's all about providing you guys with valuable content that could help instill a positive change in your life and hopefully your friend and family's life as well and at the end i would like to request you to make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to our youtube channel as it helps out our videos a lot and again thank you so much for watching till next time goodbye